So every mammal you can possibly think of lives in this city. There are different districts. They have, the, for the polar animals, we have Tundra Town. For the rainforest animals, we have the Rainforest District. Sahara Square, if you're a camel, why not live in Sahara Square? It's got something for everybody. Well, Judy Hopps is our main character, who's voiced by Jennifer Goodwin. Mm -hmm. And Judy is a rabbit that comes from the kind of the countryside, the outskirts of Zootopia. Mm -hmm. And um, Judy, be Judy believes in the mantra that in Zootopia, anyone can be anything. You know, this is kind of, this is her credo. Um, and she goes to Zootopia to become a police officer because she has this very kind of strong sense of justice. She, she uh, doesn't, she, she likes to stand up for the little guy. Mm -hmm. You know, she's an underdog that likes to stand up for the little guy. Um, and so she goes to Zootopia to fulfill this dream of being the first rabbit cop in this big city. Mm -hmm. The voice of Judy Hopps is provided by the lovely and super intelligent, wonderful actress Jennifer Goodwin. You may know her from Once Upon a Time or Big Love. And what uh, Ginny brings to the role is she has this great fire in her, and we needed someone to play this rabbit that could sound sweet and innocent, very, very smart, as a good foil for Nick Wilde, this, kind of, this cunning fox, but also have this great sort of drive to her. She's very determined. She's got a Frank Capra-esque character to her. She's a very pure character and she's gonna go out into the world. She really wants to make a difference. She believes that anyone could be anything, but uh, we needed someone who could go out and figure out that the world is more complicated than she first thought and grow. And she, she, she's a flawed character, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, that's what makes her wonderful. She's just like us. Well, Chief Bogo is Judy's boss. He's the chief of police at uh, the Zootopia Police Department at uh, city center uh and he's he's uh he's uh voiced by idris elba um and he does not believe that a rabbit will make a very good police officer because police officers in zootopia are big animals um like rhinos and elephants and so on um so he's not mean you know he just doesn't he just doesn't think that a rabbit will be able to have the back of of a bigger you know police officer um, so, he believes that, that she be belongs in something a little, you know, uh, slower paced, like parking duty. Mm -hmm. So he makes Judy a meter maid uh, for the ZPD, and uh, this does not go down well with Judy. <laughs> and, uh, and she decides that, that she's going to kind of do everything she can to earn his respect, you know, so she can become that real cop that she mm -hmm. dreams of. Well, so there's this mystery in Zootopia that uh, Judy becomes aware of, where mammals around the city, everything from a huge polar bear down to a teeny little otter, have started to vanish without a trace. And Judy is, has a very big heart, and she becomes aware of this uh, lovely uh, young otter, Mrs. Otterton, who has been missing her husband. She's got two kids. This wonderful husband has disappeared, has been gone for 10 days, and Judy steps up, does what a good cop should do, and says, I'm gonna help you find your missing otter husband. And uh, in doing that, she discovers that this case is much deeper and much scarier than she originally thought. Well, uh, Nick Wilde is a fox. Uh, he's a native Zootopian uh, and kind of a jaded Zootopian. Um, and he believes that uh, in Zootopia, uh, we are who we are. You know, he was born a fox. Everyone just sees him as a sly shifty fox and he'll he'll die a sly shifty fox um and uh he's he's kind of the perfect foil to judy's um to to judy's uh kind of uh, eagle scout mentality because she believes well any i, I could be anything i want and, uh nick believes well you're just no you're just a dumb naive bunny uh well jason brings just a incredible sense of humor and comedy to the character of Nick because Nick his dialogue he has to say some pretty cutting things you know to Judy to kind of knock her down a few pegs and Jason is perfect at taking the most biting cynical uh, dialogue and make you love him saying it you know um, and and he can help Judy because he like we said he's a con man you know he kind of knows the, the seedy underbelly of Zootopia, mm -hmm. and uh, Judy needs his help in finding uh, this lost otter. Mm -hmm. 
Well, so in doing research into the film, did about eight months of research, we came across a very interesting proportion in nature. In, in mammal animals, it is 90% prey animals to 10% predators. We thought, wow, that's very interesting. And what if you had animals that had evolved but hadn't quite put that predator-prey fear that they have of each other completely behind them? And that's why we have a predator animal and a prey animal, uh, Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps, fox and rabbit, as buddies in this movie because they have a lot to learn about each other. And I think what's great about the film is that it really encourages uh, the, the characters to learn about characters that are so different from uh, embracing our differences is what's make, what makes us stronger and knowing that uh, groups aren't always going to get along and knowing that these problems exist out in the world and realizing that making the biggest changes actually start with yourself that's a that's a very very strong theme in the movie and also and it's also realizing that there sometimes aren't easy answers I think it's a it's a I'm, we're very proud of the film that it says that what what this movie um, does that, that you couldn't do at any other studio right now is that uh, it really kind of mines the legacy, you know, of the, the classic Disney films, the talking animal films, uh, in just its design, in its look, uh, in that kind of sense of humor. Yet it's done in a, in a very 21st century way. It's done with computer animation. We researched how animals look in the wild, so we gave uh, our characters like very realistic grooms, but but still with that that really appealing Disney design, and, and the story is very contemporary. So, so it has a sense of of feeling timeless, mm -hmm. like all the great Disney films, but it's timely also. You know that it feels very uh, contemporary in its story. Mm -hmm.